Sunday, Manny So, YouTube, let's get it. You already know what's going on. This video is about ASAP Mob, but first I gotta talk about my Jack Harlow point. Because I've been hearing too much bullshit and seeing it on the internet. I stand on my point that that album is good, and there is a bunch of quality songs on that album. But through absorbing um, opinions through a uh, multitude of podcasts that I listen to every week, <laughs> there is one amendment that I must make to my opinion. The lyrical complexity is extremely low. It is a lot of mad, bad, cat hats that, you know, a lot of the easiest rhyme that you can think of type situations. And I remember Rory on Rory and Maul saying, it's mainly because he wants to make stadium music. He wants to make the biggest records he possibly can. And in that, and usually when you're trying to make a gigantic pop, hip hop, pop, rap, <laughs> rap pop, <laughs> a, a gigantic, you know what I'm saying, poppy hip hop record, you're not gonna bar up insane. But then that's where Jack needs to learn. And really, if he wants to make the, the next step up in his music, the people in his class that he wants to be next to, like a Drake, who everyone says it's like a baby Drake album. If he wants to be like Drake, you have to have the lyrical complexity in the gigantic records. Drake always goes off every time. If it's a rap record, he's gonna, you know, like look at Churchill Downs. He shit <laughs> on Jack Harlow on Churchill Downs. And that song's gonna be big. So that's just one thing that Jack Harlow could just take into, you know, when he's composing his next album and be like, all right, I still have to bar the fuck up even though I want all the white girls to know. You know? Fuck. Okay, perfect. All right, now for the real topic of this motherfucker. <laughs> because YG Addy, ASAP Ant, just dropped Lil Jean Jacket 3 and that bitch is so fucking hard. And ASAP Ant, ever since 2018 in the release of Jean Jacket 1, has been making the best music in ASAP and no one's close. 12V is a little bit close, but to me, the quality like, and is like whew, way beyond. He's been carrying ASAP Mob as Rocky and Ferg have been in years long slumps. The only glimpse, especially for Ferg being Green Juice. I don't remember when that came out. I think that was like four years ago, but they have not been producing quality for a long time. G Jack and One came out in, in 2018, along with ASAP Rocky's testing, right? Testing had praised the Lord, and that's damn near it. G Jack and One cemented ASAP Ant's own individual, super unique, super cool style. YG Addy has the illest DMV style flow. Some of the the marketing behind Marino Infantry and how coveted that clothing brand is, unbelievable. And then really, it looks like the beat selection, man. It's just, every beat is just like, ah. It's just so hard. And now I gotta go back to the flow. You would think like the DMV had its wave, right? Splurge, Hood Rich, Gunu. In terms of like everyone rapping like that. He took the base of that, which to me is, if you look up Gunu's Stain, that is the basis for the DMV flow. He took that and morphed it into something so damn raw that just works so good for him. That just sounds so good every time. You just gotta applaud, son, because that shit is the shit. And he used to be a fucking damn near, like, nondescript member. Yeah, he's been on songs since the beginning, 2011. He's always been a main member of the crew. Everyone knows... But until 2018, Jean Jack and One. Now it's like ASAP Ant is is better than ASAP Ferg. Who saw that shit coming? No one saw that shit. ASAP Ant's better than ASAP Ferg for the past five years. Nah. You gotta give credit to Addy because that shit is amazing. That Jean Jacket Three is too hard. It's on over repeat every day. WWE, no mercy. <laughs> God hour. I can't even, I'm not going, it's not a joke. It's a nine. You don't need to review it. Go listen to it right now. If I tell you to listen to something, that means go listen to it right now. Is it good? Review, read, read a review. <laughs> read a fucking review, just listen to me and you'll know about everything that's a shit. And that's the goal of this channel. But I don't just wanna shit on Rocky. I will shit a little bit on Ferg because he's been pretty dookie for a while. But Rocky just dropped DMB. 
which is one of the best Rocky records I've heard in a long time. I listen to that song and I feel like, okay, he's trying to restore the feeling. He's trying to restore, he's trying to make me feel like I'm hearing, see me in the hood and guys are saying, what's up? Smoking weed for the 13th time in my life. And I always think it's so great when an artist is like in a slump or hasn't been producing quality for a long time and they try to bring back, they try to return to form. That's always a, an exciting ass time for an established artist, at least for the fans of an established artist like I am of ASAP Rocky. And I'm very, very, I have such high expectations for this next Rocky album because of how DMB makes me feel and how great it is. With that being said, YG Addy is still carrying, but the promise for the leader of ASAP and Rocky in this next album is um, there's light at the end of the tunnel. So yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's about it for the video. Catch y'all in the next one.